For those of you just tuning in, here's a recap of what we're doing. My family bought a 1961 Volkswagen Beetle in Los Angeles, and they're attempting to drive it to Florida. We are fixing it along the way as we go, and uh, this is day two of that adventure. Look at this Tabasco hot sauce. Oh, look at Sebastian's finger next to it. <laughs> it is tiny. Oh, I slapped We took every one that they had. I even have one in my pocket. First stop of the day, yeah. we're getting ahead. 250 miles without having to add any oil last night. We are driving up to 70 miles an hour, which it didn't really like that much. So, let's check and see if we need to add some today. Ooh, still pretty clear, considering no metal on it. What year is it? A 61. Chicken back in New York. Yeah, yeah, we're doing old school road trip with the kids, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we had somebody come and ask us about the car, but oil looks good, it's not even down. I don't understand how it's not leaking oil. There was no puddles underneath last night. Like I just drove it, it's been sitting here for a while. No puddles, this thing's awesome. It's got little issues, but the mechanical, it's so good. All right, these are our Route 66 stops between what Google says and our friends told us. We're gonna try to hit as many of these as possible. Hey, there's like a dust storm ahead of can't see is there's like 60 mile an hour winds happening and a desert and there's a dust storm and we don't have an air cleaner that works properly so we are about to take this in we'll find ourselves a way to build an air cleaner top hat maybe about some flashing or something all right so the carb on the beetle this just keeps popping off this is the air cleaner goes on top there's no bolt no top hat no anything so we ran to a part store we're about to run oh, into that hardware, dust bowl hardware store. hardware store and we uh, decided i wonder what would fit so we came up with this idea if you take the gang, gang box. box cover it already has a hole in the top that we can wash her up a couple sizes we looked up to find the size that should be quarter 20 thread pitch hopefully get a bolt See if it a runs washer in. Too, yeah. Yeah. A couple washers, and we should be able to go it's through a dust store. Two dollars. Summit Racing has it for like ten times that. So, yeah, right. <laughs> so we looked online. It says it should be a quarter twenty thread pitch, which seems kind of big, but we'll find out. A washer and a lock nut to go over this. All right. So okay, internet was correct. What is it? A quarter twenty. Yeah, that's gonna. Work. Oh, this is gonna, gonna be work perfect. Quarter inch. Oh my god. Quarter All right. Twenty and a two inch uh, hex nut. All right, let's get that hole punched out. And get it. We'll see if this affects the way it drives at all, but it's all sealed up. It's on there. It's probably the first time this car had an actual working air cleaner in forever. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's legitimately a dust storm out in the desert over here. Oh my God, I don't know. Right now it's fine here, but over there it's like gray and like, even not, it's hard to show in the video, but we've, there's tumbleweeds blown in front of us everywhere. We're about to get on 66 for the first time. I don't know. It's like literally like a little dust hurricane over there. Tumbleweed blown in front of us every like 30 seconds of it trying to catch that. Tumbleweed in the road. Yeah, there's too far. It's underneath this truck. We are about a mile from this dust bowl, it looks like. I, I don't, can you see like clear skies? And then not so look good, happy looking skies up there. Oh my goodness, let's see how this goes. Making our way. It's 126 miles to Flagstaff from here, so I hope it's not like this the whole time. There's so much dust accumulating on the front of the car, it's ridiculous. Yep. There's tumbleweed running along the side of the road with us. Oh, look at that one. See that? Caution against baby rattlers. Uh -oh. 
Alright. Inside the shop here. <laughs> cool so we just stopped into the first stop on our journey of 66 which is the home of the gigantic Hedicus this is the biggest what is this stone head thing in Arizona I don't know why we need to see it but we needed to see it I don't know I was way more impressed with the lady statue yeah there's a lady statue out here and we are like, look how nice it looks that way. Look at the dust storm that is coming towards us. Let's go check out this lady here. She is made out of a ton of, like, looks like lasered out or plasma cut steel. It says 66 in every one of them. left our first stop on 66. Next is Grand Canyon. Well, I think there's one little town before Grand Canyon that has something in it, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. This thing's got an engine in it. That's the other one you could have stuck your head out of there. Like, seriously. <laughs> Has it flat? Some random gas station thing on the side of 66. There's some cool cars we're checking out. Trains going by. Hey, Mom, don't. That's so cool. Does it stick? Yeah, dude. It Yo, is. what's in there? Dude, it's in there. Yep. That is so cool. Thanks. Oops, sorry. I was kind of standing there. Sorry. Let's drive this thing cross country. Uh, I don't even think you don't Dude, it's toasty in here. There's a little cafe. Currency. The whole wall. Look at this. 66. Back on the road. It's pretty vacant out here. So this next up is Grand Canyon.
Grand Caves or Grand Canyon Caverns. Uh, Radiator Springs gas station. I'm surprised there's not tumbleweed in the front of this. There's tumbleweed all over the front of your car. Yeah, hold on. Give you an idea of how big of these things are that we're cha that are rolling out in front of us. Look at this. Yeah, the, they definitely have a scratch in our car, I'm sure. Did you see the one huge one run right into the side of me? Oh my. It was nuts. I'm gonna see how much gas we have. This place is awesome. It's literally like a wasteland out here, though. Let's see mountains. Can't give you an idea where we're at. Pull up on the side of the road because the dealer plane is falling off, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna take it out now. I didn't get it. That's the first time I got hit by a hat! There's a dust storm right there! The wind blew that hat away. And that hat blew away. Why'd we stop? Blew, the wind blew my dealer plate off. You have sandals on.
All right, this says dead end, but I'm pretty sure my buddy Eric said that this will still bring you to Ash Fork, even though it says it doesn't. You just have to go around the barriers. This says dead end, but we've seen a bunch of people taking it. It's so far gone, we can't take the beetle, so. All right, we made it to Ash Fork, where we're gonna jump back on 66. We had to get on 40 for like five, 10 miles. All right. The oil checked, and it's still exactly where it should be. It's pretty good belt and everything still seems good. It's cracked, but it's working. Nothing seems all that hot. It's really cold today with all the wind. All right, this is historic uh, Ash Fork. So we'll see here. Is there anything interesting? Anything for food? I'm hungry. All right, we're in Ash Fork. We decided to try this Ranch House Cafe. I don't know. It's kind of desolate out here, so these are our options. Oasis. a pretty good lunch. Thank you to the little family that runs this place. Oh, I got this. Is historic 66. This is right near the Grand Canyon in a little town called, what's the name of the town? Oh. Williams. 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 We are pretty far off the beaten path at this point on Historic 66. I know we're still on it because we're seeing little roadside signs people have nailed on the trees, but it just told us the pavement ends. So, oh boy. Let, let's go off road, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch this to directors. Oh my goodness. It is like washboarded. We got this. We got this. There's also a winter storm warning that just came in, and the clouds are not looking very nice up there. It's supposed to like be slippery. Oh, I heard these cars are good to snow, so we'll find out. I mean, there are there is snow on the side of the road. I don't seem to have any true working heat. Like all this, the stuff is there to make the heat work, but nothing comes out. So. And it's like AC instead of heat. This says private land, 15 miles an hour, but look at the view. Oh my goodness. So I don't even know what's happening right now though. <laughs> Sebastian's like passed out. Maggie's helped me call pilot. Alright, well that rough patch brought us back out to the highway. And there is no more 66 for the next almost 70 miles. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. It's all been over. Either it was repaved and turned into 40, or the road was completely demolished and other things were put in its place. So we have to follow this for a while, and there, if we see anything interesting, we'll show you. But otherwise, we'll catch back up with you at Jackrabbit's Trading Post.
We're rolling down the road and found this abandoned place that I think would be a cool photo opportunity. All right, a little urban exploration for you. This place is toast. Holy crap. Yeah, there's something moving above us. Maybe the wind? Look at all the spray paint cans. Hello? I don't see nobody in here, but damn. This is rough. Was the bathroom? Was a kitchen? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna walk through this door here. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> There's some really good graffiti in here. I mean, not that this is what you should do. When you go to abandoned places, you're supposed to leave it as it is and not touch it. That's the rule of urban exploration, but this place is a little different. <laughs> this, was that the walk-in? Yeah. His insulated walk-in? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what's in there. It's got good skylights. This is cool. Subfloor is a little shitty. I don't know. Nice. Hmm. They must have been using as a place to stay and work. I don't know. There's like mattresses and a fireplace. All right. Well. There ain't, there ain't much left of it. Oh. You see it? All right. Back on the road. See you at two arrows. All right, we are about halfway between Flagstaff and Gallup, wherever that is. Uh, we are getting some gas, which should be enough to get us in for the night. We are giving up on 66 for the evening, because it's getting dark, we can't see everything, everything's closing. So our hotel's only about an hour away. Get in for the night, and then start 66 again tomorrow. We have some housekeeping we have to do on the car when we get in tonight, if we get in early enough. <laughs> we approximately <laughs> made it uh, a quarter mile and it just stopped running and there's no power to anything so I don't know if our little ceramic heater was too much for it and we just burnt out something or what. What's your name again? Amy. Alright, and you said you saw us on YouTube through the suggestions? Yeah, through the suggestions on Karen and Amy.